Welcome to this video on uh, using rate concentration plots to determine rate constants. So uh, the main aim of it is to be able to calculate rate constants from rate concentration plots and a key question that's often asked in exams is to determine the correct units for the rate constant. So we're just going to remind ourselves here of what the um, rate concentration plots would look like for different orders of the reaction. So remember uh, if we've got this rate uh, reactants going to products uh, uh, reaction equation then the rate equation for this is going to be rate equals K times concentration of R to the power R. Now I wonder if you could pause the video now and see if you can remember uh, test yourself on what these rate concentrations plots would look like for zero, first and second order. Okay here, here it goes so in the case of a zero order reaction we've essentially got rate equals K times R to the zero which is just one and so our plot is going to look like that and the rate all the way through is K so <coughs> rate equals K and so we get K read off K from the graph so as long as we get that graph we can simply read off K uh, from the graph okay now what about for a first order reaction so hopefully you've got that this is going to be a directly proportional relationship so it's going to look something like that uh, and in this case here what we've got is rate equals K times concentration of reactant like so um, and consequently if we want to see what how we're going to get K from this graph well what we need to realize here is that K is effectively acting like the gradient of this graph and so if we think about this in terms of a more familiar equation this is just like y equals m x and m is the gradient so what that effectively means here is that if we pick any two points on this line and we just draw in a little triangle like that right angle triangle here then this would be change in rate and this here will be change in concentration of reactant and effectively here K equals delta rate over delta concentration of reactant so in other words it's the gradient of the line a second order reaction is going to look like a quadratic graph so it's going to rise much more steeply as the concentration of reactant increases. So that's what the, this graph is going to look like. Um, now in this case, uh, the rate of the reaction here is rate equals K times concentration of reactant squared. Um, and consequently, it's not possible to determine, because the gradient of this graph is constantly changing, you can't determine uh, the rate constant from it. So. Um, you could do it using a variety of other methods, for example, you could plot R squared against rate and then use the gradient. You could do a log-log plot, and both of those would be on the scope of A-level, so not possible to determine K directly. What you might be asked to do is perhaps you know it's second order, you're given a concentration and you're given the rate of that concentration and then you can simply do a division to solve for the unknown rate constant. So it's not possible to determine it from this plot. Now um, common question that people are often asked here now is that once you've worked out the numerical value of K what are the actual units of it um, and in order to do that the important thing just to realize is that because this is an equation not only uh, the so the units on each side have got to be equal so if we think about units of K then the units of rate are moles per decimeter cubed per second and the units of concentration is mole per decimeter cubed and so if we're going to think about what the units of K are so this is for concentration that's for rate then the units of K then we're just going to have to have whatever is missing on this side and so in this case it's just going to be missing seconds 
to the minus 1. So units of k seconds to the minus 1. Now, I wonder if you could try and do that for a zeroth order reaction. See what you get. Okay, let's try and do that. So units of k. So again, rate of reaction here, well, decimeter cube per second, and that is literally just going to be, there's no concentration dependence here, so if this is rate, then this is just going to be the units of K, and so in fact the units of K here are just moles per decimeter cubed per second, so units there. Okay, a little bit more challenging now. Try and see if you can do it for second order. Okay, let's see how you got on. So in this case here, it's a little bit more complicated because we've got, uh, so for units, we've got to have moles per decimeter to minus three per second for rate. Now, then for concentration squared, that's just going to be the squaring of this, so we're going to have mole squared. If we square dm to the minus 3, we get dm to the minus 6, and so the units of k are going to be in here. So this is uh, essentially r squared, and so the units of k are going to be whatever has to happen to these in order to make it equal to this side. So we've got to have a second to the minus 1 in there, um, but now, in order to make mole squared just become mole, we've got to have mole to the minus 1. And also, in this case, we've got to have decimeters cubed to make decimeters cubed times decimeters to the minus 6 into decimeters to the minus 3. So we need decimeters cubed as well. And that's the units of K. So just writing that up a little bit more clearly, we need decimeters cubed per mole per second and that's the units of K in that case.